Assalamu alaikum. We are going to discuss the immune system disorders. This peripheral blood film shows lymphocyte. There is a central round dark condensed nucleus that is surrounded by a rim of cytoplasm. And um, down to that uh, peripheral blood film picture, you can see some reactive changes that can be seen in certain viral conditions. And this is the electron um, microphotogram, electron photograph that shows uh, a microvilli or tiny microvilli on the surface of a lymphocyte. So uh, lymphocyte, any round um, cell in the tissue, you see uh, it's a lymphocyte and round central condensed nucleus that is surrounded by a rim of cytoplasm is a lymphocyte in peripheral blood film and when it comes into connective tissue similarly any round dark staining nucleus scanty cytoplasm is a lymphocyte so any round cell round cell with rather dense staining or dark staining nucleus and minimal cytoplasm in connective tissue that is a bitter bit bigger than an rbc is a lymphocyte until proven otherwise this is the electron micrograph of a macrophage that is also called histiocyte um, now you can see these macrophages actually they have a lot of surface area they are also called antigen presenting cells and they have to present the antigen to, uh, to lymphocytes for killing so and as you can appreciate like it's like pseudopod extension uh, that is trying to engulf the microbe or bacteria so that is the function of antigen presenting cells or macrophages when they are in bloodstream they are called monocytes and when they are come to in connective tissue or they are called macrophages or histiocytes now this is the powerful blend picture now this, this photograph of uh, in powerful blood you can see there is a single like it's a monocyte like mononuclear cells we, um, include lymphocytes and a monocyte as well as but as you can appreciate this nucleus of a monocyte is not the central round nucleus or dense nucleus as that of a lymphocyte but it, it's kind of a kidney bean shaped or a or a bilobed nucleus and is surrounded by a little more cytoplasm so monocyte is not really a single nucleus as it is called so when this monocytes from peripheral blood leak enters into the connective tissue you can appreciate this in in the box that it is called as macrophage or histiocyte now you can this is appreciate that the boundaries of the macrophage or histiocyte is not that well defined and cytoplasm is like amphipholic or less um, eosinophilic and it's the nucleus is not you cannot um, you are not appreciating you in the central nucleus so the it's vesicular nucleus sometimes macrophages are like they do have the as the function of the eye they have to engulf the things they they play their role in phagocytosis so they contain the debris and the, the, they can they engulf um, like uh, carbon or hemosiderin to so see they got hemo um, lenophages melanin so as you can appreciate in the high power view that there is a central kidney slightly indented nucleus and that is and the cytoplasm is very granular there are different kind of granules and pigments like brown black it could be carbon and there are a lot of granules and these are the release during the process of phagocytosis and they play their role in killing of the microbes or pathogens adjacent to this macrophage 
Um, and uh, you can say that I uh, also appreciate the size of a macrophage. It's a little bigger. Do not have a definite shape when it comes to a macrophage, I mean to a um, tissue. It can have any kind of a shape. So, but adjacent to that, you can appreciate a round central nucleus, condensed nucleus, and a tiny rim of cytoplasm. So, as we had said, anything round in the tissue, that is lymphocyte. And adjacent to that lymphocyte, uh, the cells which are bigger than that, and they, they have different kind of shapes, and a granular cytoplasm or empophilic cell, they are macrophages. So macrophages are monocytes that come out of circulation and have gone into tissues. They are also called histiocytes. Yes. Any cells so mixed in with lymphocytes but has a larger, more open, less dense, less circular nucleus with more cytoplasm is a macrophage until proven otherwise. Almost all granular pigmented cells in connective tissue are macrophages. Granulomas, when these macrophages like they fuse together and form epithelioid cells and the collection of epithelioid cells is then called granulomas. And when the nuclei of the macrophages fuse to form one cell uh, during the process of killing or phagocytosis is termed as giant cell. They are also so macrophages and dendritic cells are also macrophages but they are present at special locations like skin and they are labeled according to the um, tissue where they are present like microglia in CNS and dendritic cells in, when they line the skin or similarly. So plasma cells. Plasma cell in the peripheral blood film, you can appreciate it has a centric nucleus. Nucleus is pushed towards one side and it, there is a space or a clear halo around this nucleus and the cytoplasm is more amphiphilic or it could, and uh, it's abundant. The nucleus of a plasma cell contains a Golgi apparatus at a loaded with immunoglobulins and these immunoglobulins are, are released uh, during the process of um, uh, information or in phagocytosis and they bind to those microbes and they play they play their role in humoral immunity uh, this uh, these are the plasma cells in tissue you can appreciate the centric or a cartwheel nucleus because they are filled with Golgi apparatus and that's uh, abundant cytoplasm um, and a clear space or halo around the nucleus. So plasma cells have a round nucleus, ovoid cytoplasm, perfect chromatin and as that gives this clear halo or a space around the nucleus and the uh, cytoplasm and uh, there is a clear zone between nucleus and a vital lip of cytoplasm so per, so if you get these are all, all feature four features or three out of four features right round nucleus centrically placed or avoid cytoplasm powerful chromatin clear zone between nucleus and a cytoplasm is called plasma cell this is the electron microphotograph which shows the dendritic cell like the it's as you can appreciate it has a much wider area or a surface area because it has to play their role in phagocytosis and they present the antigens to the lymphocytes for bus, uh, and for um, for like for playing their role in um, immunity or in hypersensitivity reactions as well as if they do not recognize their own MSC. So as you can appreciate there are spinous processes that are coming out of their surface and long spinous processes so because they, they help out in engulfing the microbes attaching due to these microbes or pathogens to their surface.
when these adams macrophages are dentitic cells they are labeled as dentitic cells when they line the skin surfaces and the microglia in brain and similarly in lung and lung tissue and k cells now and k and natural killer cell this is now in this picture you can see this NK or a natural killer means they automatically kill the pathogen prior without any activation of lymphocytes or other inflammatory cells. They directly release their enzymes and play their role in color. They are filled with porphyrins and gray enzymes that directly create holes in kill their offending agents. So natural killer cells are very powerful killing cells and they mostly kill the intracellular organisms like viruses. This flowchart shows the how these NK natural killer cells do their function. In the first photograph you can see this is an NK cell like it's filled with granules or buffer and granule and enzymes within it and there is an activating receptor at one side and inhibitory receptor which is attached to another side. When it comes to a normal cell which has attached with which have MSC class 1 on its surface as it is on most of the cells so when this come in contact with the MSC class 1 it the inhibitory receptor bind to that and recognize that an NK cell or natural killer cell is not activated and no killing take place. But what happens when it comes to a cell that has a virus inside its cytoplasm and it has mass, its MSC, is MSC class 1 negative. So activating ligand is activated and virus inhibits as like the um, and it's activated and they release and to say release the gray enzymes and porphyrins and the result in culling and lysis of the fending agent. Now it's just a general scheme of cellular events and cells which they play their role in inflammation antigen presenting cells which are main macrophagically macrophages lineage like um, monocytes, macrophages, and dendritic cells, and T cells. T cells they control everything, the other thing like CD4 cells or helper T cells are regulators which play their role in um, adaptive um, antibody mediated immunity, cellular immunity, and um, CD8 cells which are effectors. Now B cells, B cells, they actually release plasma cells and they form plasma cells and these plasma cells, they uh, give them releases the antibodies and they give rise to antibodies which they play their role in humoral immunity and a T cell play their role in cellular immunity. NK cells, so natural killer cells, their function is almost similar to the CD8 cells, but they are self-sufficient in killing the microbes and other organisms, which are intracellular, and but they are different cells than T cells. This flowchart summarizes what we, what we have discussed before. Uh, this is a B lymphocyte, and it has attached immunoglobulins on its surface when it comes in contact with the microbe what happens it releases plasma cell and this plasma cell give rise to antibodies and this antibody secretion take place and these antibodies bind with those microbe and then results and then the complement system is activated and result in lysis of those microbes CD4 and helper T lymphocyte. CD4 helper lymphocyte when come in contact with a macrophage or antigen presenting cell which has a virus or a bacterial phagocytose micro within its cytoplasm. What happens? It releases a cascade of cytokines. Now these cytokines what they do? They further activate the macrophages and equipment of macrophages to those to this that site, and then and they 
also stimulate the B cells to produce more antibodies in plasma cells to they play their role in killing. So, and that cytokines which really cause activation of the macrophages called killing of the microbes and inflammation take place at that site. CD8 cytotoxic T lymphocytes. CD8 the cytotoxic lymphocytes when come in contact with an infected cell that contain micro within its cytoplasm. Cytotoxic lymphocytes it gets bind to that cell and the direct killing of the infected cells take place. So CD4 are helper T cells like they they play their main role in the information and a hypersensitivity reactions like they what they can they got they are going to activate the inflammatory process they release cytokines and through that they uh, they play their role in killing and at the and they also activate other B lymphocytes and other inflammatory cells as well as cytokines now what are cytokines Cytokines are basically small peptide or protein molecules and they mediate innate or natural immunity through interleukin 1, tumor necrosis factor alpha and interferons. They basically regulate the lymphocyte growth. Many interleukins are the, they play their role in lymphocyte growth. They activate other inflammatory cells like neutrophils or macrophages and their recruitment to the site of inflammation. And they stimulate hematopoiesis like colony stimulating factor, especially granulocytes. Now, cytokines are basically protein products by many cells, but usually lymphocytes and macrophages. Numerous play their role in acute and chronic inflammation and immunity as well as. Macrophages releases mainly tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin 1. Now, what are chemokines? Chemokines are also small protein cytokines, kind of site, and their function is to track polymorphous neutrophils or to the site of inflammation. So they are chemoattractant for neutrophils, and but their structure is almost similar to that of the cytokines. MSC, major history compatibility complex. Now, MSC is basically, as we had discussed, a genetic locus or a click genes that are located on short arm of chromosome 6, which codes for cell surface compatibility. And they recognize human leukocyte antigen humans, and these are called H2 genes in mice. So the major role is to that that all self antigens are recognized by MSC and are tolerated. Because the general rule of the immune system is that any unrecognized antigen will not be tolerated and will be killed. Now, this is centromere chromosome like and this is the short arm of P arm of a chromosome, and this is the long arm. This short F P arm at locus six, you can see there are three regions like class one, two, and three, and they are not in a sequence like class one region, class three region, and class two region. And these MSC loci have, have a different smaller genes which are located there and they recognize uh, they are present on different kind of cells and they play their role like they if they recognize this uh, boy self um, as cell and um, and if they recognize the gene antigens that antigen will be tolerated by the body if they do not recognize their self antigens that will result in cover of the cell, they play a major role in autoimmunity, immune reactions, and on inflammatory processes. Now, what are MSC? It, um, it, these are, as we had discussed, are gene products. Now, we further classify them into class 1, 2, and 3 according to their location. Like class 1 MSC molecules are present on all nucleated cells and platelets. So all nucleated cells and platelets have class 1 MSC molecule and what are they? They are glycoproteins. 
antigens in nature like as they are, they are present on cell surface class 2 msc molecule are present on on antigen presenting cells macrophages dendritocytes and b lymphocytes so msc is on 2 is on antigen presenting cell and it is also a cell surface glycoprotein and antigen and complement and msc3 MSC3 is present on complement system proteins because when complement system is activated, they play their role in direct killing and they activate the cascade of reactions that like C3 with an analysis and killing of the micro. Immune system disorders. What can go wrong with that system? Like if something goes wrong with that system that results in hypersensitivity reactions, which are classic further classified into four classes, one, two, three, and four, and autoimmune diseases. Now they are called collagen vascular diseases or collagen diseases as most of the autoimmune diseases they result in fibrosis, immune deficiency syndromes, they are further divided into primary if they are born with like genetically determined secondary which are going through viruses or like AIDS, HIV virus. Now we are going, we will discuss the hypersensitivity reactions in further detail like they have, as we had discussed there are four classes. In the hypersensitivity reaction one which is immediate hypersensitivity and um, type two is antibody mediated hypersensitivity like a um, antigen antibodies they get bind to antigens on the surface and this uh, results in activation of complement system and then lysis of those mic of the lysis of the cells or, uh, or killing of the cell take place Immune complex mediated hypersensitivity like antigen and antibody complexes, they develop in the circulation and they then they get deposited in different locations where they are prone to get deposited like, a, like um, the glomerular basement membrane in the kidney <clears throat> and blood vessels can type 4 cell mediated hypersensitivity which is like is um, uh, cell mediated hypersensitivity or delayed type of hypersensitivity to cellular in, um, um, immunity and it results in formation of granulomas or like tuberculin test or T. So the main cell which play their role in type 1 immediate hypersensitivity is mast cell. Type 2 hypersensitivity is antibody, antibody mediated immunity. Now, antibodies they attach to the cell surface. When these those antibodies attach to the surface, they result in opsonization. Like opsonization, they make the more um, like uh, uh, it's kind like they may make it the more appetizing to be killed by the phagocyto or phagocytos by macrophages. Then after that opsonization phagocytosis take place and during that complement fixation and activation of cascade of killing like C3 formation and that leads to killing of the cell. And then lysis or destruction of the cell take place by breaking or rupturing of the cell membrane. Now, the examples of type 2 or antibody mediated hypersensitivity are autoimmune hemolytic anemia. The antibodies are directed against RBCs, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, that antibodies. They, they get against the antibody formation or against the um, platelets. Good pasture syndromes like along the cell surfaces of the glomerular basement membrane and lung and glomerular nephritis and lung hemorrhage. Rheumatic fever. Antibodies are directed against the uh, joint surfaces or synovial surfaces. Myasthenia gravis, 
and um, against antibodies against uh, junctions and Graves disease uh, antibodies against um, it, um, thy like thyroglobin antibodies they are found like, formed and they result in against the um, follicular cells of thyroid and they result in Graves disease and pernicious anemia similarly Now, type 3 hypersensitivity or immune complex mediated hypersensitivity is basically an antigen antibody complexes. Now, they are not uh, on cells found in cell surface or antibodies not get attached to the surface antigen. These complexes are formed in circulation. These antigen antibody complexes, when they formed in circulation, they are attracted towards the sites like kidneys, glomerular basement membrane, blood vessels, skin, joints, and synovium. So these are four kinds of tissues where they are tend to get deposited, kidneys, blood vessels, skin, and joints. And then these, uh, uh, these two diseases like common diseases are tough type 3 or SLE, mostly they are systemic diseases as these complexes get, can deposit it like on all these four um, tissues or one or two of those tissues. SLE, lupus is also a systemic disease, polyarthritis, nadosa, post-streptococcal, glomerulonephritis, arthritis reaction and serum sickness. Arthritis reaction is basically the reaction that takes place within seconds and if it after days so many several several weeks it is called a serum sickness like um, um, vaccination or after that that reaction that take place at that time listen listen vasculitis edema dyspnea and um, and shock these are the features and if they are delayed this is called serum sickness Type 4 hypersensitivity is a cell-mediated T-cell type, delayed hypersensitivity. Now, the T-cells or CD4 cells play their role in delayed type of hypersensitivity. The examples of hypersensitive tubercolin skin reaction, which is done to detect for TB, is a test like um, indirect antigen or peptide when it comes in contact with the cell macrophages are activated and they CD4 cells like they play their role and they result in formation of a granuloma or at that site. So type 4 hypersensitivity reactions or cell mediated type of delayed hypersensitivity reaction mostly end up with granulomatous diseases and contact dermatitis is another example of type 4 hypersensitivity. And this flowchart shows the formation of granulomas, what happens in type 4 or cell mediated hypersensitivity. This is an antibiotic presenting cell or a macrophage that have a microbe ingested within its cytoplasm. But, and they present as it has to present that microbe to T cells, CD4 or helper T cell. When it gives this microbe to CD4, represent that to help a T cell, help a T cells, what it do? It releases different kind of cytokines like interleukin 12, interleukin 2, but the most important cytokine is interferon gamma. And that interferon gamma causes um, equipment to monocytes from the blood brain and tumor necrosis factor as well as they cause recruitment of these monocytes from the circulation to the tissue. When they come out to the tissue, they result in phago, they cause phagocytosis or killing of that microbe and during that process they fuse together to form giant cells and the nuclei mostly they arrange in horseshoe shape arrangement if it's a TB infection or tuberculosis, mycobacterium tuberculosis and they sometimes fused and become elongated or banana shape down the called epithelioid cells which when these epithelioid cells they are get collected and these are surrounded by these macrophages and lymphocytes and they get walled off by these um, 
fibroblasts. So this results in formation of a granuloma or a TB granuloma. Now we summarize this, what we had discussed. Type 1 is an acute allergic reaction and exposure to pollen or any antigen at that and that results in immediate type of hypersensitivity reaction and the main cells that play their role are his um, mast cells and interlaid uh, type of reaction you are going to see eosinophils in the tissue as and type 2 is antibodies that are directed against the cell surfaces and they result in formation of complexes, antigen antibody complex at cell surface that then activate the complement system activation take place and these anti complement system then give rise to lysis of those cells. Type 3 hypersensitivity is immune complex type of hypersensitivity in which immune complexes are found in circulation and they get deposited in different tissues, skin, blood vessels and um, glomerular basement membrane and synovium. Type 4 is a delayed hypersensitivity like TB skin test and results in granulomatous diseases.